Mucho YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Crestview, Florida, and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Generations Titans Returns Legends Class Sea Spray. And as you can see, this is a Legends Class, so it's slightly bigger than a three and three quarter inch figure. So I got Prince Lotor from Voltron from way back when, G1 Voltron at that. But that's a review for another time. Let's take a look at the box. You can see the little heads up display, and I don't know if you can see the, uh, the little transparencies on the ocean there. Kind of neat. There's Titans Returns, Transformers, so you can read Made in Vietnam, 2016, eight easy transformation steps. And if you really want to see his bio, there it is. Ba -da -da -da. Cool, easy day. Let's look at this. Comes with instructions if you need them. I mean, it's eight easy steps. Y'all can do it. Here's his card. I like that. Sea spray. He's a hovercraft, if imagine that. So take a look at that. That's his spec sea spray. And here's the figure. Like that little tour out the way. So here's a figure. Nice looking figure. Let's take a look at it. Head swivel. Ball joint on the shoulder. Ball joint on the elbow. No wrist articulation. No waist articulation. Now, although it is a ball joint on the hips, that's as much articulation as you're going to get. Thigh swivel. Hinge on the knee and a little hinge on that humongous ankle foot of his. There should be no problem standing this guy up. I mean, look at this humongous feet of his. No problem. But, you know, he is a break when it comes to posability because you're not going to get much out of him. And that's quite all right. I love the homage to the G1. He has a little missile launcher for his weapon. 8 out of 10 in this mode. All right, let's go ahead and transform him. So first, we're going to get the missile launcher out. We're going to put the arms out. All right, and this is going to rotate up. Let's see. There we go. Whole thing rotates up. There we go. So yeah, that whole thing rotates up, even though that snaps back. And that little chest piece covers his face. Now we're going to move the arms, and they tab into this little tab right here. Barely, but they tab in. Somewhat. And yeah, here's a key phrase. Somewhat. I'm not going to say they're tabbing perfectly, but they do. All right. And in the back of the legs, flip these out. And the legs accordion in. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, this accordion action isn't exactly beautiful or seamless, but you know, I can make it happen. There we go. There we go. Okay. Do I have it? Do I have it? Yeah, almost. There we go. And these things tab right in there. So, yeah, so accordion in. Okay. I had it. Yeah, everything untabs, by the way. Nothing is beautiful about this. Okay. Do I have it? Do I have it? Yeah. Ugh. Sorry I did that off camera, but man, not the easiest thing to do. All right. We got it. All right, no wheels on the bottom, so that isn't going to roll, unfortunately, but a good homage to the G1. So there you go. And finally, the missile launcher tabs right in place. Good looking figure. 7 out of 10. If it had wheels, definitely 8 out of 10. Great homage to the G1. There is no doubt. And I wish that these things tabbed in better, but it is what it is, and it looks gorgeous as a figure. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch y'all next time.